Hello YouTube, welcome to another video. I noticed that one of my wall mounted packs um, seemed to be a bit weak. As the, uh, as the whole battery discharged, um, one of the packs would drop off rather sharply uh, until it hit the minimum cutoff voltage. Um, the first 13 would all be sitting at about 3.4 volts but the 14th one would, would drop sharply and suddenly down to sort of 3.1 volts um, and so the um, pack would then be disconnected so, so as to stop that one going any lower because it's I don't want them to go any lower than 3 volts um, but obviously there's a whole load of power still in those other cells that could be used so if I can get pack number 14 to be uh, more similar to the other 13 then I should be able to discharge them all um, more evenly down to nearer 3.1 volts um, and so get some better performance out of it. Um, you can see from this um, cell trace which is the batteries as they're being um, discharged over time that they all hold pretty much um, together um, discharging by about the same amount over the course of uh, of the day but right towards the end you see that that sharp drop off of module number 14 um, and it just drops through the floor so it's a bit weak um, I think perhaps um, it's it's got a slightly lower capacity than the other modules so my plan is to um, try and bolster that pack up a bit uh, and see if that makes a difference okay let's just see what voltage we've got I've already drained a few cells down to 3.9 volts so that I can swap them in so this needs to be about 3.9 volts um, for me to be able to uh, swap those so it's at 3.92 so that's good so I'll just um, disconnect this pack now while I swap to swap these cells over Okay, so what I'm going to try and do is replace these three and these three with uh, some higher capacity ones. These three here are only 1600 milliamp hours. So um, I've got some more here that are like um, a whole thousand milliamp hours more so replacing those three will give me another three amp hours and then replacing these three uh, hopefully will give me another one or two amp hours extra so the whole pack will come up by about five amp hours and uh, hopefully that will be enough to um, make it a bit stronger so in order to get these out what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to have to cut these cable ties which hold this bus bar down but also holds the pack together. So once those are out um, I should be able to prise these apart just enough to slip these three out I hope and slip the three replacements in on both sides then I can put the cable ties, fresh cable ties back in um, and then that should 
um, uh, then allow me to re-solder the fuse wires on and uh, put it back into service. So um, yeah, first thing to do is to uh, cut the fuse wires on these three cells here and these three cells here and then cut those cable ties. So these fuse, fuses are so small that um, it's actually quite hard to see. Actually, this one is separated, which might explain why we've got a bit lower capacity in the first place, because that will be a whole 2,000 milliamp hours or so less the pack because this one is not connected. Let's just see what voltage we get in there on that one. Yeah, I think it's probably just snapped there. That's the same as everything else. I've now replaced all of the cells uh, with six new ones of a higher capacity so uh, I just need to now put uh, new cable ties through and um, okay so I just need to put new cable ties through to secure it up and then I can solder those ones in making sure that I've got them all the right way up of course Positives at the top, yep. Okay, let's okay, we'll tie this up. So, they're all in, so now I just need to uh, solder these three sets back on, just tidy up any bits of loose fuse that are left over. So I'm actually going to have to do these first four. Soldering iron on. Let's just check. Make sure that the voltage for these is about right. So that's coming up as 3.95. And that's coming up as 3.93, so yeah, close enough. Okay. 
Excellent. So firstly we need to put a blob of solder on these new ones. Okay, that's the blobs of solder on the top. The trouble with this fuse wire is it is so thin, it's really hard to see it. Just put a solder the fuse wire to the bus bar, <laughs> trying not to melt these uh, Let's have a little look at that. That one's connected, that's connected, that's connected, and so is that one. That's connected, so is that one, and that one, and that one. Yep, 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 yep. All good. Check a few along here, make sure that no more snapped. That seems good. Okay. I just got to turn it over and do the other side. So again, first thing. I have to put a blob of solder on these new ones.
that's all good. So we should be able to get this back in service now. Okay, that should be it. So I've just um, recharged some of the cells that I took out of that old pack um, and capacity tested them just to uh, see how much they've degraded over time. I think some of these have been around for a good couple of years and um, you can see that uh, some of these have dropped by only about 100 milliamp hours over the time these green ones in particular but then these red ones see that's gone from 1800 milliamp hours down to 1200 so that's like a 600 milliamp hour drop that's really significant it's lost a third of its capacity and the same with this red one over here it's uh, again lost quite a lot whereas this blue one has only lost about a hundred milliamp hours. So yeah, it just shows that these packs are degrading all the time in terms of what they can store. Um, how long it'll be before they're no longer useful, who knows. Okay, well, um, I think that's going to be all I can do for now. Um, I'll make a follow-up video when I've seen whether or not that uh, fix has made any difference, but uh, we've had such a run of lovely sunny weather the last few weeks the batteries just have never gotten below 70% so I've not been able to check whether or not it's made a difference. As we've had such a run of sunny weather check out next week's video which will almost certainly be the stats for April. I think there's going to be a few records broken. So that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Please like, comment, subscribe and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers. <laughs>